Hey everybody, uh, welcome to uh, my uh, playthrough of uh, Arcanum. Uh, I'm Chris Avalone, I'm creative director here at Obsidian Entertainment. And I'm also a narrative designer on uh, Project Eternity. And I'm doing this uh, Let's Play video of Arcanum because uh, you, the backers, uh, you guys out there, were uh, kind enough to uh, donate uh, more funds to Eternity and we wanted to pay you back by uh, doing a run-through of Arcanum and sort of giving you my uh, improv thoughts as I go along. Um, actually, uh, this is the second time I've run through it because I'm technically incompetent, so uh, I only recorded uh, 13 seconds of the previous 30-minute playthrough, which was fine because I was murdered along with Virgil by ailing wolves, which is really embarrassing for any game designer. Anyway, um, I also wanted to give uh, thanks out to uh, RPG Codex. They are the guys who uh, gifted me with a copy of Arcanum from GOG.com, uh, and I appreciate that very much, guys. Thank you. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions on how you would like the uh, Arcanum playthrough to go, feel free to leave comments on the YouTube page, and I will do what I can to iterate on the experience so you guys get the most out of it uh, for your uh, support. And uh, lastly, uh, I am not playing this with any uh, fan mods or uh, any fan patches. Uh, I'm just playing it the way it is released. Uh, if that ends up causing uh, a lot of bugs or game-breaking uh, issues or breaks along the critical path, then I will revise that opinion. But I did want to play it as it got released, regardless of uh, any fixes that the fan may have, fans may have done. Anyway, uh, also, uh, lastly, I am just going to play this game largely for fun. And while I make, make commentary along the way, uh, I just wanted to sort of sit back and enjoy Arcanum and uh, just sort of give you my stream of consciousness as I'm playing. So uh, with that being said, uh, I guess I will just jump right into it. Um, before this uh, interface screen popped up, I was treated to a wonderful video of two knights uh, covered in gore, uh, one with a sword and one with a pistol. And I guess they were on a field of battle. Don't know what that's about. Very, very excited. And now uh, I'm going to check out the options screen really fast. And let's see. Yep, I want uh, the Arcana module. I would like to auto attack. That would be great. Auto switch weapons. I do not know what that is about. Uh, I'll go with moderate difficulty because if I choose anything other than that, I either feel like a big wuss or I am worried on hard that I will get trapped somewhere because I'm not the world's best combatant. Violence filter, I definitely want off. Uh, I always like running. Uh, I hate walking around in games. Uh, default combat mode is turn-based. I'll just leave it at that. Fast turn based. I am not sure what that means, but I may perhaps find out later on. Or real time. Uh, no, I think I'll just go with turn based and see how that feels. Also, uh, follower skills. I am not exactly sure what that's about. Uh, and it looks like clicking on the uh, options does not necessarily give any text or what it does. So uh, I will leave those on for now. And let's see, do I want any video settings? Uh, no, everything looks good. Yeah, I definitely want the combat taunts on. Uh, minimal floats, float speed, no worries, it all looks good. And let's see for sound. Uh, let's see, I got the voice pumped up a little bit because I am very hard of hearing, which also gives me a very annoying voice. I think I am probably going deaf, and I blame a lot of bad rock music for that. So, uh, looks like I'll, I'll go on the options. Uh, scroll through the credits really quick. Um, and that actually did not work because I just jumped through a bunch of people. Uh, let's see. Yep, uh, there's all the Troika crew here, uh, Jason, Leonard, and Tim. Uh, Tim is currently doing uh, uh, programming work on our South Park game. And uh, quite a few folks uh, below that. Uh, Chris Jones is our tech director. Uh, Chad Moore, I think, is working uh, on the Wildstar game at Carbine. Uh, and Jesse Reynolds actually used to work at Obsidian. He uh, worked on Alpha Protocol and some of our other titles. And I'm going to click through the other uh, contributors here. Uh, I got the Sierra credits here. Oh, and uh, Jeff Pope's there. He's uh, uh, now working at uh, Hidden Path Entertainment. Uh, I got a chance to visit him a few weeks ago. He's a very, very cool guy. And Sierra has more credits. Wow, they are much, much bigger than Troika. Oh, my lord. That is a lot of people. Okay, so uh, I don't want multiplayer. Let's see, I think I'm all covered. So uh, that being said, I will jump into the single player game. Uh, and last time I went through this, uh, I viewed the intro first, which made no sense because in a new game, you get to see it anyway. And let's see, I did go through the characters. I'll give one more look and see if I would change my mind this time around. 
Uh, this was a halfling, so I said, screw that. I uh, wasn't sure what these stats meant, especially the BE stat was confused me a little bit at first. Um, I did, however, like all the character backgrounds they had for the uh, quick generated characters. Those were all pretty cool. And I do love Godfrey Castleburger very much. And I would eat at an establishment called Castleburgers. That would be fascinating in any role playing game. Uh, also, the portrait's are pretty sweet. I like those a lot. And especially I like Monk Evil Eye here. And the fact you can even play at Half Ogre is pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. And all the elves got a big no from me, so screw those guys. I'm so sick of elves. Uh, Merrick Luggerton. Whatever, Merrick. Uh, and a bunch of fine ladies. That's awesome. Oh, Victoria Warrington. Oh, my. Looks like uh, another elf. Screw that. Anyway, uh, going back, I think I would rather create a new character. And I think I am going to go for a female character, and you can give me a ration of shit if you want, but I enjoy making female characters. That pleases me. Uh, let's see. And I like to escape out of things because that's very exciting for people to do. All right. Uh, so let's see. The stats here. Uh, I go through the races. No elves, please. Uh, well, I'm kind of curious what the half elves look like. That's pretty cool. Half elves are one of those things that uh, D and D must answer for one day. I think uh, that whole Dragonlance saga really kind of threw things off. Uh, half orcs, humans. Yeah, I think I'll just go with a classic human. And I was scrolling through the background traits in my previous playthrough, which I think took the previous thirty minutes to go through all of them. But they had such a great range, and they were really awesome. Raised by elves, my ass. That's not going to happen. Raised by monks. That sounds really boring. Uh, let's see, channel over here. Da -da -da -da. Inheritance. Ugh, don't want to be play with someone with inheritance. That reminds me of Downton Abbey and those aristocratic fools. Special person. Oh, that's a nice way to phrase it. Professional knife tosser. Anyway, after going through uh, the wide selection of trait skills, I actually ended up with the one that gave me the biggest boost to charisma and beauty, I think, which was, let's see, a debutante. There we go. That's the one I want. Yeah, I wanted the uh, charisma bonus, and I don't care so much about the physical stats, and hopefully uh, Virgil will take care of that. But uh, we'll see how that all goes. Anyway, uh, so, Lady Veronica Altmore shall be her name. She was not as popular as the Castleburgers. All right. So that's all selected. I actually don't like that portrait, and I like that one better, so let's get that guy along. All right, uh, let's see. So for whatever reason, clicking, okay. If you click on the stats, is there a way to get it a pop-up for what they actually do? No. All right. Hello. All right, well, I'm going to bump up my charisma a little bit because that's what I like to do. And I very much, going through the skills, I got bow, dodge, melee, and throwing, and then backstab, pickpocket, prowling. That's a better name for stealth. That's awesome, prowling. Spot trap, uh, gambling, haggle, heal, and persuasion. And repair, firearms, pick locks, and disarm traps, none of which I am interested in because I am not mechanically or technically inclined. So uh, I'm going to bump up my persuasion because I want as many dialogue options as possible, or at least I hope it works out that way. Can't lower my intelligence anymore, but I should probably give it a few more points. No, that's not going to happen. Hmm. Although I, wanted to, and I can't seem to lower my perception or willpower. That's really weird. I guess you just mouse over them and get the, uh, the stat readouts. All right, I don't really care about strength, uh, constitution, uh, dexterity, forget that. Beauty is going to stay at its level. That looks like about the level that I'm going to get. So, a little herbology here. Da -da. So there's stats, and I it's a pretty good range. Uh, I am pretty happy with this build. So I am going to jump in to the next stage here. And man, my previous experience with this buy sell screen was terrible. So hopefully it won't be with this bad this time around. I will gladly buy a staff. I don't want this plain dress. It's not my style. Instead, I want this 
effing cool robe is what I want. Uh, let's see. And let's see. I think I would like some boots would be awesome. Maybe a little dagger. Uh, and I always like to have healing potions on call whenever possible. And a little bit of fatigue restoring. What's the difference between these two daggers? Two through six versus one through four. All right, you can screw me. And da 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 da. Get a sword this time around too. Let's see, short sword or. Hmm. Speeds a little bit faster. And get a little mortar and healing cell. That looks pretty good. A few of those. I think I'm just about out of cash. So awesome. Uh, I think I'm all set. This looks like uh, inventory Tetris there. Awesome. Sweet. Uh, the gambling thing doesn't seem to be doing anything. And the hand icon, I'm not exactly sure what that is yet. If I can click on it. Nope. I'm not sure what that is either. All right. Uh, so I have equipped my character. I look like, uh, I feel like I'm pretty set. Um, I clicked on, oh, there we go. That should be able to give me the equipment that I need. So I can actually start out with, uh, hey. Oh, crap. Wait, I don't want to. You jerk, give me that back. Give me a second one. Oh, this is the innkeeper's interface? Oh, crap. He fucking stole my robes. Fucking dick. Oh, great. I'm gonna... Great, now I can't fucking buy any armor. Uh, da -da -da -da. No, do not tell me to settle for this freaking dress. Ugh. All right. Oh, crap. How much does this cost? 75? Well, great. Yay. I get the exact one I don't want. All right. Da -da -da. Opening movie. I like the filter effect on her. It's pretty sweet. I like the music. And blimp time, yay! As we have Batman the Animated Series. Ta -ta. Sweet. Uh oh, trouble. And these poor fools don't know what's about to happen. Yay, tiny people. And a chess game. Oh, it's been brutally interrupted. Oh, crap. Oh, that's not good. on a blimp is such an easy target. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Eat that, you fuckers. Well, there goes my ride. And I emerge from the wreckage. Oh my god, the destruction. Uh, wait, where, where, where are you? Where are you? Hold on, let me move this, let me move this wreckage. Uh, uh, who are you? I haven't got much time. Yeah, well, neither do I. Wait, do you have any cash on you? I must find the boy. Uh, why? Find the boy. No, I don't, I don't want... Give him back his ring. What? He will know what, what needs to be done. What? <laughs> Take it to Mordor or what? Hey, don't you cough on me. Listen, listen to me. I am listening. I do it. Did he? Unspeakable things to us, and we unspeakable. What do you mean? Choice, but to do as he said. Uh, that's what the Nazis said. Was left, but the work is almost finished, and then the evil. Oh, you can imagine. Uh, I can imagine quite a bit. Coming back to destroy everything. Oh crap! Are really? That makes no sense for any conqueror. Please. Why would you destroy the people you want to enslave? Find the boy. <laughs> 
I will do that. <laughs> Tell him that I escaped. I came back to warn. <clears throat> he will know what to do. You, my friend. It's I am not your friend. Up to you. It always is. Uh, hello? Dun dun, a shadowy figure comes. Oh. I can't believe it. I mean, you and... And then the Zeppelin and, and the fire. And the altar says that... Do you have any idea what all of this means? Um, no. Uh, let's see. Uh, also, I'm probably going to be going pretty fast with the dialogue. Uh, if you want to see any particular option, just freeze YouTube and read it. But uh, I am otherwise going to click through. What are you going on about? I, I sure do. Of, of course you speak. What am I, a blathering idiot? Wait. Sub Blathering, you what said blather. Maybe I should be writing all of this down. Um, all right. I am at a loss here. I, I, I don't quite know what to do. Uh, I mean, you are the... Oh, of course you are. I mean, you do know who you are, right? Of course you do. What, what, what sort of brainless, half-baked question is that for the... the, uh, the uh, what, 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 what do you call yourself? So the, uh, if you guys ever are curious, one of the uh, narrative pipeline rules we use at Obsidian is uh, because people can generally read faster than a voice actor can speak, we try and break uh, up large chunks of text like this into like uh, separate nodes of no more than two sentences because that usually ends up keeping pace with the, uh, the voice acting work and then you don't lose as much as, uh, as much of the cost of being in the, being in the studio when uh, players will just skip through the rest of the conversation. So, I want to know more. Forgive me. I do forgive you. You bloody mess of this whole affair. My name is Virgil, madam, and... Madam? I'm new to the Panari religion. I will cut you. Uh, your religion, and I... Oh, oh, wait. Uh, I, uh, hereby dedicate... No, no, uh, commit my life to the living one. I, A living one. Virgil, am at your service, madam. Better cut that madam crap out, like... Fuck it now. Uh, let's see. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Do I need to explain yes, things here? Yes, of course. You see, you're him. I, I mean, the, Whoa. the, the reincarnation. I'm a her. Or, um, what's his name? I, I can never remember. And, and I, I'm always getting mixed up with the other fellow, the, the bad one. You, um, well, you know how all of those old elven names sound the same. <laughs> I do not, although they have a lot of apostrophes. Yes, right. Uh, just give me a moment here. You, you see, the Panari, that's the religion that was formed around the things that he said. I, I mean, that you said. Oh, forget it. Let, oh. Let's start at the beginning. Or this beginning, since there is a lot more that came before this. I'm going to shake this guy so hard. Incarnation of a powerful elf. Ugh. Worship, and whose name is... Uh, I want to be an elf. Oh my god, I can't get away from it. Right. Yes, uh, the name. Oh, wait. I remember something. It is written in the scriptures. The living one will live again on wings of fire. No, 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 wait. I think it says, reborn on wings of fire. Oh, blood and ashes. Why do elves always have to be so damn cryptic? Because they're dumb. All right. Uh, oh, that guy was a gnome. All right, that's good. I don't know about the ring, but this business about the evil one returning. Oh. As I've said, I don't know a whole lot about the Panari prophecies, but I think you were supposed to return and fight someone evil. Crap. Ah, uh, bloody hell. I should know more of this. He is not, he was not a very good student. Uh, let's see. I would like to clear up your confusion, but I am new to the Panari religion myself. I must bring you to meet my mentor, Elder Joaquin. He can answer your questions. He is in Shrouded Hills. Oh, Shrouded Hills. It's like Broken Hills. Uh, let's see. Tell me more about this guy. Joaquin, well, gave me a hand when I needed it. Showed me the truth of the Panari and its beliefs. He's a very wise man and will know what needs to be done. That sounds like the guy I want to talk to. Uh, let's see. The path out of here leading down to Shrouded Hills is down to the southeast. We'll stop by the Panari Shrine on the way out. See if it makes any of this any more clear. We should look for any other survivors before we leave, though. Hey, my first companion. Awesome. 
I would like to look for survivors and see what they have on them. Ooh, like this guy. Hello, Preston. Matchbook. Can I examine this? No. What's this? Passport? Oh, crap, I can go to Mexico. Sweet. All right. All right. Actually, I should probably equip my character. Let's see, let's do that. Nope. All right, put those boots on. Got a little more armor. That's not gonna happen. Put the ring on. That's cool. Okay, what else? Anything else? Let's see, dagger is two through six, and staff is one through four. Guess what? You win, dagger. There's some really cool inventory art. Good job, Troika. All right, uh, let's see, go back to the main screen. Let's see, what, oh, what's this? Is this alcohol? Yeah, looks like the wine survived. Sweet! Hey, Virgil. What is it that you want of me? Well, I don't know. Can I talk to you? Whoa, Virgil, can I see your things? What have you got on you? You have got crap. So, uh, not sure where your character screen is, Virgil. So, I will what ask you. What is it that you want of me? Oh, he heals me too. Sweet! Let's see. What? More questions. Oh, I know a few things about you. And that apparently brings up his character interface, which I don't want. So sorry, Virgil, not to be rude, but. What is it that you want of me? Um, what can I answer for you? Well, what should we do now? Mm -hmm. I think we should do two things. We should try and find the Elder Joaquim and then find out who the owner of that ring is. The ring. Always the ring. All right. Oh, Virgil, that was all very exciting. Let's head over by this stump. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, metal plates. I love metal plates. You realize you're going to be carrying all this shit, Virgil. That is what's going to happen to you. But, well, I hope you didn't see me while I was raiding that gnome's corpse. But, you know, he put a lot of responsibility on me, and he was a Nazi, so. Dun -dun. All right. Oh, Merwin Tumblebrook. Oh, that's right, all these guys are the uh, pre-generated NPCs. That is really cool. I like that very much. I also like getting steel and putting it in my inventory. Oh, wait, oh, oh I see. Oh, I missed this the first time around. Oh, great, now I'm getting attacked attack by a fucking... These guys totally killed me last time. And you know what? Uh, I should realize, Mixie, I should probably save this game once this combat is over. Oh, yeah. Literally, I am so bad at combat that I pray that the enemies find a way to kill themselves before they attack me. So, yeah, you like that, don't you? Totally cut you. All right, uh, speaking of which, I better find a way to save the game, like right now. Uh, looks like it. That was not the options menu. That was herbology. Schematics. Okay. I do not know how to do this. Interesting. Okay, anyway, uh, those look like keys. That is not the interface screen. Uh, maybe try escape, maybe? I don't know. God. Okay, awesome. Sweet. Starting out. That's what I usually call all my first save games, amazingly enough. Okay, good. Phew, I won't lose any more time. This, all right. Filament. I find that castle bird guy. Fucking love castle burgers. Delicious. Can't seem to select this guy. I guess he doesn't have anything on him. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Oh yeah, more metal plates. Love metal plates. Man, Virgil really likes jumping. Oh, a lesser boar. Oh, and he's courteous. Oh, that's nice. I think I'll kill you. Yeah. Oh. Are you so, blind? What in God's? I, I mean, better luck next time. Were you just? Did he just give me some shit? Oh, Virgil, you are not long for this world. I will. Oh my God. You are not gonna wake up when we light on the campsite again. It's like a little tiny bowl. Oh, that's so cute. 
Yeah. Oh, you down? Mmm, delicious boar meat. Mm mm mm. Oh, he doesn't have anything to loot. Crap. Okay. What was that? I'm still not sure what that sound effect is. I heard it a few times while doing the first playthrough. The first 30 minutes of my last playthrough. Oh, more boars. You know what? But I think I. Ah, what the hell? Greetings, Boar. I'm here to be courteous to you. Oh, but now you hate me because I've tried to stab you. I call that reactivity. Virgil, you better start pulling your weight here or I am going to leave your corpse underneath the wreckage of the Zephyr. Oh, my God. Yeah, uh, I'm going to leave this part out of the journals when I talk about my adventures. Yeah, Virgil, you didn't see that. And if you, oh, the game is saved. Oh, sweet. Oh, well, just to be safe. Killing lesser boars. Actually, I'm calling them little tiny bulls. Killing tiny bulls. Sweet. Ooh, I like that sound effect. Like good confirmation there. Okay, anyway, back to the wreckage. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. Oh, I didn't... Awesome. Oh, this is one of the fighter pilots. Oh, sweet. Strange flying device, but much smaller than the blimp. Oh, they don't even know what an airplane is. Oh, they probably haven't even seen Top Gun. Oh, God. And isn't that an ogre among the wreckage? It seems very unlikely that an ogre would have the intelligence to... <laughs> Great, Virgil. You're a total racist. Awesome. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> nice job. Strange amulet that he's wearing, and that symbol on its face. I don't recognize it. Do I you? don't even see what you're talking about, so I'm just gonna go with it. Uh, something isn't quite right about all of this. I don't remember the uh, scriptures talking about flying ogres and the like. Uh, why don't you, why don't you pause there? Find Elder Joachim as soon as possible, and be careful. These wolves are none too friendly. Oh no, shit, Virgil. God. All right, well, uh, I hope that... Oh, I wonder if this... Where are I going to put that on? Oh, my God, give me the stupid amulet. I uh, probably shouldn't wear that if they're the bad guys. Because they were trying to kill me, so... Dun, dun, dun. Wow, that was interesting. I'm glad I explored this area. I didn't do that last time before I got killed. Oh, more wine! Oh, oh. And the wolf is guarding the wine! Oh, they always do. Like the old Dubliner on Wednesday nights. Virgil, you... Oh my god, Virgil. It's, if you're not going to pitch in... Here, I'm putting Virgil in the dress after this. Yeah. Felt a little bit bad at that death sound, but only a little bit. Because now I have some wine. You all right, Virgil? You were kind of glowing there for a second. Nope. What? I didn't pick it up? Give it to me. Give me the wine. I don't like I'm a drunk or anything. Just give me the fucking wine. Oh, yeah. All right. Any more fun wreckage? Nope. Hmm. Man, this blimp, like, plowed hard. Metal plates. Hello, Solomon. Wow, you were drinking a lot of Gatorade. Electrolytes, yeah. Oh, and you got some sweet cash on you. Nice, Solomon. Yeah, what were you up to? A smuggler, huh? Smuggling your electrolytes. Up, oh, another ailing wolf. Virgil, pull your weight, Virgil. Can't do everything. I just look good. Got great speech options, all I do. Die, ailing wolf, die. Oh, well, I guess that was it. All right, back to the wreckage really quick because I want more wine. Stop making that noise, Virgil, Jesus. Oh, yeah, what's this? Ooh, Kadura stem. Oh, man, I did so much Kadura stem back in college. You have no idea. Oh, my God, there's even more here. No wonder the blimp crashed here. Crash the marijuana fields. Uh, that's all I can see right now. Ooh. 
Oh, filament. I got some clipping problems there. Oh no. Is it my sister? No, it's Victoria Warrington. Oh, that bitch. You deserve to die. You snubbed me when you were in first class. Wouldn't even talk to me. But now you're dead. Ignore me, Virgil. A large spring. Oh, I want that. Cool. Oh, Solomon already raided your body. You get all that sweet cash because you were a smuggler. Electrolytes. Horace McGinley, huh? Oh, tell your parents what happened, Horace. Virgil, move. Virgil, come on. Virgil, over here. Oh, ha ha. I tricked you. Just wanted to see what Muck's got going on there, which is nothing. Wreckage, wreckage, wreckage. And by the way, this is how I play like all my role-playing games, which makes open world games. There's lots of loot. They take forever because I pick up every, ooh, what's this? A thermometer. I don't know where that's gonna go later on, Virgil. Uh, a broken camera. All right, yeah, I'll take that. It's probably, I'm gonna get that to Virgil. He probably fights better with a camera than he does with his staff. Of course, I'm not one to talk, so. Well, let's see. Merwin Tumblebrook. Oh, too bad you were a halfling. Deserve to die. Where am I, why can I select that corpse? Is there something on it? Okay. Clarice! No! You will no longer hear the screaming of the sheep, Clarice. What is it that you want of me? Uh, what can I answer for you? A few things about you, Virgil. And it goes to his character screen, which feels very invasive, by the way. Right. Uh-oh, you can hear the cries of the wolves in the distance. Awesome. Ooh, who's this girl? Haha, <laughs> elf. <laughs> what is it that you want of me? No, I'm sorry, Virgil. I clicked on you accidentally. I, I just like touching you. I must depart. Sorry, Virgil. Uh... Ah, the Castle Burger. Yes, mmm, delicious Castle Burgers. They're the best. Made from real castles. Oh yeah, Kadura Stem. I'm gonna get so high tonight, Virgil, I cannot feel my legs. Oh crap, what the hell? Okay, hold on. I'll read that note after this dumb thing is... A kite. What is a kite? Are they just like really tiny people? Whoa, Virgil, that you just earned your cash, my friend. Yeah. Arr. Sweet. Okay, what was that note? Whoa, Helma's note to Jared. Well, how do I read that? Okay, oh, I click it. I'm born the TFS I have Zephyr are speeding on my way to see you again. Oh, my dearest Jared, my breath catches when I think that in two short weeks I shall be your wife. Oh, that, oh. And she took out a huge insurance policy. Oh, God. And that is correct, my dear. I'm accepting your proposal. This is truly sad. I hope thoughts of me warm your heart <laughs> like the fires on that blimp on your long days and nights guarding Vermilion Station from the half orc looters you mentioned. Well, I guess I'm gonna go to Vermilion Station and drop off this wedding note at some point. If there's no more kites. It's an open area? Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. Crap! Fuck. Let's save the game after this. Oh, wow, I killed him one hit. Or Virgil did, but I'm gonna take credit for it anyway. No one trusts Virgil. In fact, that's going to be my name, my new save game. No one trusts Virgil. Or no one trusts Virgil. I'll just do that. Just want to get going here. All right. Okay. Mm, wreckage. Castle burgers. Mm. Another dead elf. Awesome. Love it. Merrick? Damn it. It's... Oh, 
Ah. Get away from my Kadura stem. I will cut you. This is my territory. I deal the Kadura stems around here. Try to cut in on me and my gang. Me and Virgil. We own this corner. Are you blind? What in God's I I mean, better luck next time. If you give me any more sass, this knife is going in your throat, Virgil. Yeah, make that little boing noise. Hey, Genka root. Mmm, delicious Genka root. Uh oh. Apparently, that Genka root belonged to this kite scout over here. What in God's I, I mean, Virgil. Oh, and how did I drop the dagger? Are you blind? What in God's I, I mean, better luck next time. How do I get my dagger back? I don't even know what happened. Oh, wow, I'm totally doing curbside justice with my kicks. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that was so satisfying. Oh, I'm not even sure I want my dagger back. Yeah, that is me, but give me my dagger. These things, Kadura stones. All right, dagger, thermometer. What does the wine do? I think I just drank it. Sweet. It's mm, really beautiful music, by the way. I'm not gonna try and hum along, I'm terrible. doing out here anyway, Virgil? There's nothing going on here. Can I move? Are those bushes blocking my way? Oh, it's the rocks are blocking my way. Uh, all right. Another kite scout and a wolf. Whoop, that's not good. Take your Genka root, motherfucker. Yeah. Give it to us. Yeah. Hello, ailing wolf. Might you direct me to the gates of death? Are you blind? What in God's I I mean better Whoa, than whoa, whoa. Weapon damage? That's not good. What the hell happened there? Got all these tendrils around me. Bad hentai video. Oh, crap. Did you cause these? What are you? Oh, I can't even. Virgil, take that guy out. Do not let him warn anybody. Oh, my God. Oh great, there's a fucking shaman. Spell ca Oh I I mean better luck next time. He knocked my dress off. This guy has problems. Holy crap. Give my shit back. Oh great. Oh did not plan this. This is all you, Virgil. I'm gonna stay over here naked. Oh my god, I can't get away from this stupid. Oh. 
And Tangle is like the worst. Man, we were doing a pen and paper version of Temple of Elemental Evil a long time ago, and someone found a rope of entanglement. That thing was the most unbalanced magic item in all of D&D. Could instantly paralyze eight people at once, no matter what their level was or anything. And I see that I am in the same position. And Virgil, if you die now... Oh, crap. God. Do I not have my dagger anymore either? What the hell? Okay, well, staff time. I dropped my weapons all over the place, apparently. Oh, wait, that's probably the result of the, the critical hit, or my incompetence, in which case I dropped my weapons everywhere. So I'm a weapon dropper, apparently. Great. All right, Virgil. We've got to get our shit together here. This is embarrassing. Inventory Tetris. Kid. All right. Ooh, chest. It's a magic chest. That's what I want. Ring. Sweet. And cash. I oh, love cash. Uh, let's see about putting some of this stuff on to try and conserve some weight. Camera down there, too. Why won't I move? Oh, there we go. Thank you. Experiment with crafting later on. Oh, nice. I love the, uh, the reminders of your quest objective. That's pretty cool. Yes, I do want to overwrite this save game, even though I am naked as a jaybird. All right. A lot of howling going on. I've been here before, so I always like going the exact opposite direction that Virgil told me to because I want to explore this whole area because I might find another one of those fighter pilots because that actually proved to be worthwhile. And I do mean that sincerely, even though I am sarcastic. I could, oh, wait, more Genka Root. Get over here, Genka Root. Man, you kites really love this Genka Root. wolf sound is killing me. It sounds awful. I mean, like, it's a good sound effect, but it breaks my heart every time I hear it. I don't want a reputation to be mean to animals. Uh, that Genka root is very well disguised. Or is it? Okay, well, I've been here before. Telltale signs of my murder everywhere. I left some more weapons and armor lying around. All right, I should just follow the left-hand wall and oh, until I find an ailing wolf. Virgil, get your ass over here. I should I can see what my daggers like after this. Ugh. 
Ha. Huh. Lesser boy. I'm sorry, you're probably filled with rich, delicious XP. I'll take that XP from you. Make it my own. Oh, crap. Oh, what, Virgil? Nothing sassy to say this time? Good. Good. You're learning. Delicious. All right. I want Virgil I want a cave. Uh, my very first stronghold, and I want to find it right around here. It'll be the Cave of the Winds. And only I will be allowed in there. You must camp outside. Because you are occasionally an asshole with your combat barks. And I did not accept that. Not today, my friend. Alright, I think I have cleared out this area. I think. I wonder if there's an auto. Oh, cool. I wonder if there is a auto map anywhere. Oh, I can sleep. Oh, I love sleeping. Those are quick slots. I should probably start moving some of my uh, healing potions in there. That would be good. Oh, wow. All right. Electrolytes. Right, fatigue potions would be good. My fatigue seems to be building up. Is there anything else? I'll put the thermometer in the hot slot. <laughs> it's got to be a crafting item. They couldn't just put a thermometer in there. It's as funny as that is. Attack you with my thermometer. Dun, dun, dun. All right, Virgil, let's move it. We plundered this area of all its goods. Tell legends of how we sacked this area. I better not be going in a circle again. It's the most embarrassing Let's Play video ever. I want to prowl. Could prowl. <laughs> That's an awesome animation. <laughs> I'm doing a dance. Hey, Virgil, check this out. See? Look, check. What am I doing? Arr, and where the wild things are. Arr, don't look at me like that, Virgil. You can't understand. You know what? You, you don't understand. Just was acting. I wonder if I can pick Virgil's pockets. No, wait till you ask something first. Don't want to rob him quite yet. I hope I found everything here. I'd like to be thorough. Oh, there's some ginkgo root. Uh oh. It's a shrine of virtue or a very large gravestone. Uh oh. The altar should clear things up for us a bit. Hmm. It says. And the spirit of Nazardin shall be reborn on wings of fire in hills shrouded in fog, and fight the last battle with the evil one. I am getting really tired of this evil one. What? I'm sorry. That was the but biggest breath ever. <laughs> I guess we better find out, considering you're supposed to fight him. Um, actually, Virgil, I don't believe I said I'd do that. Yes, so, blow me. All right. Don't you presume, Virgil? Do one last hunt. I'm sure, I missed something. All right. No, I think I cleared out everything. All right. I mean, I really need. Some. I wonder if Virgil has any. I wonder if Virgil has a. What is it that you want of me? Let me see your things here, Virgil. Okay, you got a metal plate. Why don't you take a few more? Yeah, that's it, Virgil. Why don't you carry all this junk? Oh, I respect you as a person, Virgil. You are not a mule. You are not a mule for my whims. And why don't you take these filaments because, you know, I love carrying around effing filaments. Yeah, why don't you take some of these electrolytes, too? Good workout. You need your electrolytes. Uh, more metal plates. Don't really care. 
should try to experiment with crafting here in a second and see if I can, uh, of course, giving all that crap to Virgil was probably not a wise idea if I want to do some crafting. But I'll wait till later. You know what, Virgil, why don't you just sit around and take pictures of the camera? And you can hold my dress. Why don't you put your dress on, too? Oh, Virgil, you do have robes. Awesome. <laughs> now you're naked. Not so funny now, is it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, I'm sorry, Virgil. Yeah. Yeah, these robes are very warm, Virgil. Jesus Christ, Virgil, you're fucking ripped. Do you like the kettlebells? What the fuck's up with you? All right. Come, manservant. Oh, crap. Dialogue, I hope. Oh, no, be awesome. What are you doing up here? Good God, man. Well, all these are kind of... Okay, that's a lie. This is a little too challenging for my tastes. And this is makes me... Well, I don't want to be aggressive. So, well, they're all kind of jerky. Okay, a middle one. I mean no disrespect, uh, madam. I don't trust this bastard one. Jesus, Virgil, would you watch the language? Oh, my God. He's got a potty mouth. Excuse my language, madam. Well, what do you recommend, Virgil? I've dealt with buggers, uh, individuals like this before. Perhaps you'll let me talk with him for a few minutes. Virgil, I think I'll handle this. After all, this is what I want my persuasion Fine. for. I'm sure what? What? Best to do. Hey! I don't like the look in his eye. Virgil, don't be a dick. I just want to roleplay my character. Oh, Shredded Hills, all right. You know what? I just feel like being honest, so I will... All right, Virgil, you were right. I need to frickin' brag about it. Don't want to make you mad, though. I need your need your reputation high so I can take advantage of you, send you into dangerous situations and disarm traps and take all your gear and give you all the crappy gear that I don't want to carry. Man, this guy is knocking me out. Is this guy gonna kill us? Oh, crap. Oh, thank God, Virgil. I take back everything I said about you. Oh, it's an elf? Oh, sweet. Oh, we knocked him out. All right. Take his elf ears. Yeah. It's rough being from the city, coming out here in the wilderness. Your fucking ass beat elf. Yeah, I know I'm getting my stamina back or whatever that sound means. Save the game one more time. Killed an elf. An elf, and it felt good. No, I can't even say that. I'll call the next one, and it felt good. Madam, you might wish to consult your map. I believe there might be a quicker way to Shrouded Hills. Oh, I appreciate that, Virgil. Thank you. Oh, I see. Awesome. That's an action. Oh, wow. This is a wonderfully big world. Got the glimmering forest, the gray mountains, the Vendergrith wastes. I can't make out some of these names. Stonewall Range. Stonewall Jackson. Didn't he live in Virginia? I don't know. What is this? I can't tell what that button does. I'm afraid to press it, but I will. Nope, nothing happens. All right. Okay, try to scroll the map. Can't do that. Can I zoom in? No. 
Oh, yeah, Ken's in. Okay. The path is blocked. Oh, I see. Well, I could jump there, but I'd rather walk. Get some more Genka root. Skadura stems. Yeah, I fucking love smoking that shit. Oh, crap. Got us. Blind? What in God's I, I mean, better luck next time. Well, no armor for you, Virgil. Ever. Yeah, that was a good hit, Virgil. Are you blind? What in God's I, I mean, better luck next time. Look, I am a lover, not a fighter. That's what I have the persuade skill for. Oh crap, Virgil, pick up your pick up your staff, dude. God, this is not going to go well. <laughs> Kick the wolf, Virgil. Kick the wolf. Are you blind? What in God's I I mean, better luck next time. Oh, well, it did it for me. Are you and you know what? Uh, I am glad I saved, but that, that's an awesome death screen. Uh, anyway, uh, I think that is going to end uh, this session of playthrough for today. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and I will continue to play Arcanum in the days to come and give you updates. Uh, again, please feel free to give whatever comments you want on YouTube, and I will attempt to course correct my playstyle to make it more entertaining. Anyway, uh, thank you very much, and uh, this is Chris Avalon, and I'm out.